Hello y'all, it is I, Zyab Guy. I want you to imagine a scenario. You have just bought yourself a nice record player. The first one you've ever bought. You're just about ready to drop the needle and listen to the music. But you realize a problem. You don't have powered speakers. Now at this point you have two options. Option one is just buying powered speakers. You already spent so much on the record player. Might as well spend the extra 50 quid, right? Or... You can use the MIDI output. Well, this exact situation happened to me. I know, very common issue. I'll probably end up buying some powered speakers later, but I had the genius idea of using the MIDI output. I connected to my computer and I just thought of ideas. I could use the microphone preview that's built into Windows itself, but what if I want to listen to it on my Mac? I could use the Discord microphone preview, but the quality will really be impacted. Wow, this is so high quality. For a few days, I used FL Studio to listen to it, but it became annoying after some time. So, I did what any sane person would do. I built a website to listen to the record player's MIDI output. Yeah! Now, to be honest with you, the entire reason why I made this is because I want to listen to it on my Mac, as that's the best speakers I have technically, and I really don't want to learn the process of doing audio loopback. And I wanted to make it a website because I really don't want to make another app. Process Hitman was painful enough. So yeah, why not make it a website? It'll work on any device I own. So, with that in mind, I created my index.html. Yes, you heard me right. Listen here, partner. On this here channel, we don't fool with none of that MPM nonsense. No Dino, and sure as shooting no TypeScript neither. We keep our code plain and simple. That's the way it ought to be. You got that, kid? So first, we'll design the crudest UI possible by adding two buttons. And that's about all we'll do for now. We have a volume slider, a button to start loopback, and a button to stop loopback. Now, I've never done this sort of project before, so after doing some googling, I found out that we should be using an audio context. <laughs> After that, we'll create a media stream. At this point, you're supposed to pick the correct input device. In my case, it's USB audio codec. We'll create a media stream source and also a gain node. Now, we'll connect our gain node and our audio context destination to the stream source. At this point, audio loopback should work just fine. But I'll also set up the volume slider to the gain node we just created. And voila, let's test it out. This ought to be so cool. Um, uh, I mean, we can hear the music, but something's wrong. Do you hear it also? It's muffled. Now, to be honest with you, this part had me stumped. I searched far and wide, but I could not find a solution. But finally, I found the reason why it sounds that way. For some reason, some reason I cannot explain, for some reason I just can't comprehend. When you create the media stream, it has echo cancellation, noise suppression, and automatic gain control enabled by default. You have to manually opt out of these settings. Why is that the case? If you want a feature, you should opt into it, not opt out of it if you don't want it. Anyway, small rant aside, let's try this one more time now that we've disabled those features. Ah, that sounds great. Not as great as from an analog output, but it's still really good. Now we have to implement the stop button, but that's as simple as stopping the media stream, disconnecting the nodes, and closing the context. Functionally speaking, the website is done. However, I want to make it look a bit better. I want to add like a spinning vinyl in the middle, and it'll spin anytime music is playing. I kind of suck at CSS. Graphic design is definitely not my passion. So I'm going to use Tailwind. But Zyab guy, you specifically said you won't be using that stuff. Ah, but fret not, Weaver. 
I'll be using the CDN of Tailwind CSS. The project is still one file. Technically, if the CDN goes down, our site will lose its styling, but it's a sacrifice I am willing to make. This is the final design I ended up with. It's not the best looking website, but it's better than nothing. Story of my life again. Darn, I can't tell if this is self-deprecating humor or a cry for help. For this spinning vinyl, we'll use a hacky approach. We will set up a vinyl class, a spinning class, and some keyframes for the animation. We'll set up the keyframes in a way so that when it ends and starts again, it will look the same. Matt's lesson from Zyap Guy. Hey kids, did you know that if you rotate something a full 360 degrees, it ends up looking exactly the same as it did before? In the JavaScript, when we start the music, we'll just add the spinning class to our vinyl div and we'll remove it when we press stop. One final thing I want to add before releasing the website is an FAQ section. Now I've explained the purpose of the website to you already, but someone coming across this link might not understand why it exists. We'll add a simple question and answer section, and just for fun, we'll add how long this site took to make, which was around 11 minutes and 45 seconds, if you disregard the hours of googling beforehand. We are done! Only thing left is to make the site live. Now, it would be really fitting if I had a hosting site sponsor for the video, but I don't. So I'll just put it on my website, zyapmedia.com. You can try it out at this link. And yeah, we're done. If you like this video, please leave a like. Subscribe if you want more, and let your imagination go wild in the comments down below. Before I end the video, I just want to thank you all for the reception of the last video. I didn't expect to be welcomed once more after taking another hiatus. I'll try harder and prioritize the community from now on. Again, I want to thank every single one of you. It doesn't matter if you're just seeing my content now or have been watching since types of programmers. Thank you. Once again, I hope you liked this video and I'll see you in the next one. Zyap guy out.